consider a long rectangle with length 5 meters and width 5 centimeters. Identical circles are put inside the rectangle touching each other. The radius of each circle is 1 cm. What is the maximum number of circles inside the rectangle? To start with, we mark the centers of the circles. Construct the following line segments passing through the centers. Because the circles are of the same size, so the distance between the dotted lines are equal. Now, we need to figure out the separation of these dotted lines. So instead of looking at the circles, we focus on the individual points, that is the centers. Let's move on to the calculation. We look at three circles on the left. Denote the centers of the circles as A, B, and C. We construct AB and let O be the midpoint. Because the radius of each circle is 1 cm, so OA is equal to 5 minus 2 over 2, which is equal to 1.5 cm. Now, let's construct OC and AC as well. By symmetry, OC and OA are perpendicular to each other. So the triangle is right angled. In other words, we can apply Pythagoras theorem. Here, we have AC equals to 2 cm. Therefore, 1.5 square plus OC square is equal to 2 square. Solving it and using fraction, we get OC is equal to square root of 7 over 2 cm. This value is so important because it is exactly the separation of the circles. Now, the problem is much easier to handle. We just have to figure out how many such separations are there. Suppose there are n of them. Let's write down the total horizontal length. For the separations, we have square root of 7 over 2 times n. On the left end, we have radius 1 cm. Likewise, on the right end, we have another radius 1 cm. The sum of lengths should be smaller than or equal to 500 cm. This linear inequality is easy to solve. The solution is n is smaller than or equal to 996 over square root 7. Let's write it as a decimal number. Therefore, the maximum value of n is equal to 376. However, we have to calculate the maximum number of circles, not just how many separations. So we need to do some counting. Let's make a table of value of n versus number of circles. When n is equal to 1, we have the three circles in our previous calculations. When n is equal to 2, we add two blue circles. Here, we don't write it as 5, because this way it's easier to observe any patterns behind. You will see that in a second. When n is equal to 3, there are two groups of three circles. We use green and blue for each group. When n is equal to 4, again, we add two more red circles. Repeat this process for n is equal to 5, n is equal to 6, n is equal to 7, and n is equal to 8. Now, we have enough values to make some deductions. There are two different patterns for odd values of n and even values of n, because we get the maximum value of n being 376, let's focus on the pattern of even values. They all start with multiple of 3 and then plus 2. The factors 1, 2, 3, and 4 right here are half the values of n. Therefore, we get the general formula. When n is an even number, the total number of circles is equal to 3 times n over 2 plus 2. We are almost there. Let's put n equals to 376 into the formula. Therefore, the maximum number of circles is equal to 566. It's such an interesting math Olympiad problem using elementary knowledge only. If you're looking for more challenges in geometry, check out the next video right here on the screen. I will see you there.